everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Katie. I am just going to make a quick video here on how I how I edit my Instagram nail pictures. And um, I'm just doing a little screen recording here so it can be easy to show you guys. So first, I am going to pick which photo I like. Obviously, I take um, quite a bit of photos of nails. It's pretty much like 90% of my photos on here, I would say. So I'm just going to use um, this one for an example. Um, it's a pretty cute set that I did that I really, really liked using the stamp and a glitter fade. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. So when I choose my photo, um, I kind of just remember the order. I just kind of remember that it's this second one here. And when I'm taking the photo, I always try and bring down the lamp as close to the nails as possible so that the photo is already as bright as it can be before I edit it. Because if you put too much editing into a photo, it can look grainy, it, can, it just doesn't look as good. So I try and make it as bright as possible when I'm taking the picture. So if I was to add a watermark, you can see that I have my business card down at the bottom every time I take a picture of somebody's nails and post it to my business face or business Instagram I always add my business card underneath their nails so then it's just an automatic watermark I don't have to go back in and add it um, it's just pretty easy for me to do it that way so that is one way you could do it if I was going to add one in there I have I use this app right here called Rona up in the corner of the top left corner Rona designs so this is what I would use if I was going to add my watermark and it is really important to add a watermark to your photos you don't want somebody to take your photos you don't want to be scrolling on Instagram and see somebody else's credit for photos or it just it's just frustrating if you see that and then it also lets new clients and just new followers see you who like your work because they can see your name and they can find you easily so I'm going to go in to all photos here and then I'm gonna find that picture that I wanted it was the second one I believe yep so if I was to add a watermark, you can also crop things and kind of do certain filters in this app, but I mainly use it for the watermark feature. If I was to add a watermark, I would click on this top little text button up here, the T, and then you can choose from any one of these font collections. So you have some different options here, and you can change it to black, you can change it to other colors. Um, it's pretty easy to use. If I was to add a watermark, I really like this font um, just because it kind of shortens the letters. They're not as wide, so you can fit a little bit more text in there. So you double tap this, and then you write your name, whatever you would normally write or whatever you want to write. And then you can scale this. I'm just holding that little circle in the corner there you can scale this you can twist it around you can do whatever you want they have lots of different fonts lots of different um, options so like if it was me I'll probably put it like somewhere like that in the corner and then when you hit done there it is and then you can save that to your phone and then you can go back into Instagram and open that one that you added your watermark to um, just a little side feature here, this little star up in the middle, it has a lot of these little stickers and stuff that you can add um, if that was your style, if you wanted to add some different things like that. Example, um, like here's a little sun, let's change it to yellow, just different things like that. You can, you can play around and add lots of things. You also have like gold and silver, which is kind of cool. Um, let's see, they got, I mean, they just have so many different things. They have banners. You can do a lot of stuff with this app. It's pretty cool. And then if I actually go to this, um, the right side over here. Oh, I have to press done. Okay, if I go to the right side over here, they have recrop filters, masks, 
frames. Um, so for frames, they have different options as well that you can kind of do kind of fun, different fun stuff. Oh. So um, that's just some ideas with that app. I like that app a lot. So I'm going to go back to my Instagram here. And I am going to pretend like I am uploading that image that I want. So right here, I will usually crop it like you can zoom in, zoom out to whatever you want. So that looks pretty good to me and you can see my name still. So I'm going to hit next. And I do all of my editing actually in Instagram. I don't have another app. I don't worry about using some fancy equipment, some fancy editing app to edit my pictures. Um, it seems to work just fi fine in Instagram. So I don't really worry about doing any of those super fancy things. So first of all, I don't use any of these filters down here. Um... I mean, they're cool if you want to use them, but I just like to enhance the picture that's already there. I don't want to put a filter on top of it necessarily. So first, um, I would adjust it if for some reason I thought that the picture was off. Oh, I think I used this part. Yeah. So, you know, you can kind of change certain things if you wanted to tilt it or whatever. So I'm going to hit done. So I'm not going to worry about that. So first thing I do is brightness. So I take my brightness mm, pretty high because I like the picture to be super bright so my future clients and followers on Instagram can see exactly what the nails look like. So I'm going to take it about so I'm going to take it about there 35. Then I go next contrast just a little bit. Too much contrast and you get this really like grainy dark kind of skin color. So, just enough to kind of give it a little punch there. I'm going to stop there. Next, I'll go to warmth if the picture looks too cool. Specifically, um, sometimes the lighting is off or sometimes if it's dark outside, I'm right next to the window. If it's dark outside and I use my lamp, it, sometimes it doesn't look as warm as it should be and it looks too blue toned. So I will just, you know, just adjust this to what you feel like looks more of like natural neutral colors and then I might go into saturation um, I feel like this picture is already pretty looking pretty good so just like five looks good to me um, next I would go to highlights and bump that up just a little bit just to give it even more brightness and then lastly, I would do sharpen. I feel like this is a really important, a really important one to do. I feel like it really just makes the nails stand out. You can see that the camera doesn't always pick up glitter very well, but I feel like when you sharpen it, it just gives it that extra punch that it needs. I'm going to go, yeah, like right about there. So this is exactly where I would stop. And if I hold down the picture, you can see what it used to look like and then what it looks like now. It just gives it that just great lighting, neutral lighting, sharp, crisp image that I really like. So that is about all I do for my pictures. Um, again, after I post it, I would add some hashtags that I feel like fit the picture to, you know, get find more followers and find other nail techs and you know hopefully clients can find me and stuff like that so that is all I do pretty simple pretty easy and definitely uh, makes your pictures stand out so thank you guys so much for watching I hope this helps some of you guys if you have any questions please leave a comment below and I will um, try my best to answer your questions um, go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you would like um, at Nails by Katie Dutra and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I will see you guys later. Thanks.